Hi, hello everyone. Welcome back again to my channel. And today's activity pala is I do, I'd like to share with you the Prometric Nursing Care um, exam English review. So I'm going to open my document that I edited a while ago so I could share it with you guys. So please stay tuned. One moment, please. All right, there you go. So I have here the free online tutorial or review. This is actually on English uh, nursing care for metric. So I will have to read this one so that you will know what are these questions all about. So for the first question, I hope you could see it. Let me adjust. about that let's try to read the question number one which of the following below statement the which of the following below statement is true about the lever principle so it's redundant words already so what do you think is the correct answer guys All right, so the correct answer on that would be letter D, used a white-based support. So that is the correct or the answer about the liver principle. So actually, you can see that on the caregiver exam reviewer. If you have it already, the PDF file, so please familiarize those, those things. So I have here the second or the question number two. Which of the following is easy to aspirate? What do you think, Paul, guys? Is it A, yogurt, B, porridge, C, miso soup, or D, jelly? All right, for the number two questions, the correct answer for that is letter C. Miso soup. So let's go to number three question. All right, number three question, which is appropriate about heat shock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yukihira Carl Silasor. C for miso soup. That's question number two. That's correct. Let's proceed to number three. Let me adjust one moment. Number three. For number three, which is appropriate about heat shock? A, it is common during summer. B, eliminate the temperature difference between changing room and the bathroom. Letter C, common to people with high blood pressure. D, the temperature of the water in the bathtub is at 30, 38 degrees Celsius. So what do you think, Paul? Is the correct answer for question number three one moment hold on adjust 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 number three yes well the correct answer for number three would be the letter a so it is common during summer so natsu in nihongo so it is actually related to heat shock and number four appropriate prevention of disuse syndrome a change body position every four hours i forgot to put the hours word letter b 
have a rest and spend time in supine position. Letter C, ADL perform in full support. D, incorporate individual recreational activities. By the way, guys, for ADL, it is actually uh, stand for activities daily living. All right, yes, you can hear us. Uh, exam ko na bukas, sakto pa yung reviewer niya, salamat. Yes, yes, yes. I'm sharing this uh, with you guys. To those who have upcoming exams, by the way, for nursing care for metric, English, at saka yung Japanese exam. So, good luck. And let's go back to the question number four. Maybe you have it, your answer on mine. Well, the correct answer for number four is letter D. Incorporate individual recreational activities. Um, for prevention of this use syndrome, kasi po, um, it is actually related to uh, a user or elder uh, thinking. I think, parang uh, they need to perform or like do um, other activities that could enhance their skills, or like they could become an energetic person, something like that. So that's letter D. That's for me, huh? it depends on you. What is your idea on that? But basically, if you have the reviewer, then you could actually search and study again. So let's go back to number five question. For number five question, Mr. Kazuo receives the news that his son died due to accident. He seems to be depressed and stays on just one corner of the room. How should you approach Mr. Kazuo? So letter A, give him space and time to grieve. Letter B, listen to user on what he or she wants to say. Letter C, crack some jokes. Letter D, encourage them to join recreational activities. So what do you think, po, guys? In your own opinion, po. na aksidente po yung anak niya na lalaki. And, na-depressed siya. And, how would you uh, entertain or act on him? So, by this time, you will have to, the correct answer would be letter B. Listen to user on what he or she wants to say. Pakinggan lang po natin siya, guys. If ano po yung hinanain niya, we will have to listen attentively. And we will have to empathize. Yan. So, we will not give him a joke or any a thought na it would, you know, mapasama pa yung isip niya. Anyways, let's continue. I hope you... Uh, get what I am trying to explain on this situation on number five. So let's proceed. Okay, so we have number six. If an accident occurs in the workplace, which action should be taken place? A. Willingly leave for days until the condition is okay. Letter B. Think of the cause of the situation. Letter C. Keep a record. Record it. Letter D. Continue on working no matter the situation. What do you think, Paul? All right, the correct answer for number six is letter C. 
keep a record, we record it. Yes. Every time kasi as what I've heard or learned from my friends working as a care worker in Japan, most of the time, they will have the kiroku, meaning record. Okay, so let's proceed to number seven. We have here, which is the best description of autonomy on the following sentences. Letter A, let the user decide which to eat. Letter B, it is the act of treating each user fairly. Letter C, decide for the user which dress to put on since the patient has dementia. Letter D, proper execution of tasks given to care workers. Think of it for the word autonomy po. As what I have learned, autonomy kasi is like, you will have to give the decisions himself or herself. So giving to the elderly persons. So of course, there's a hint on that. Autonomy, decide. So let's letter A. Let the user decide which to eat. So that they would become a independent person. Though they are, they are old enough, but they will have to create on their own or decide on their own self. Okay, so let's proceed to number eight. It is where the absorption of nutrients happen. A, large intestine. B, small intestine. Letter C, stomach. Letter D, esophagus. I think it's just very easy. And ito po yung uh, lumabas sa exam ko. I still remember on this way back November 2019 po. So it's very easy. Absorption of nutrients happen on what part of the digestive system po? Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, small intestine. And if ever na meron yung questions, meron dyan ang questions na it is where to filter and cleanse the blood, it would be the kidney, if ever that it would come out to your exam. Well, let's proceed to number nine. Let me adjust again my screen. Number nine. Okay, number nine. For number nine, best way to prevent cross-contamination in the workplace is to, letter A, use gloves when treating person with psoriasis. B, use mask covering the mouth. C, always wash your hands after a contact with the user. Letter D, wash your hands with running water. You know what, guys? Number nine questions. It seems like it's complicated question or statement. Kasi nga, yung A, B, C, and D, is, it seems like they are similar in thoughts. So in this case, you will have to bear in mind with a word that stands for prevent cross-contamination. So how are you going to prevent what would be the main or the top? Uh, what would be the main? I don't know how to express or explain this one. But most probably A, B, C's and D's. Correct. But here, the correct answer will be, it's letter D. Wash your hands with running water. Of course, when you wash your hands with running water, then you can prevent or stop contaminating or spreading the illness or diseases or the, what do you call this, the waste from your hand transfer from one place to another. So let's have the number 10. I hope you understand what I am trying to explain. Okay, number 10. Oh, usually pala, uh, meron ganito teacher na lalabas sa English at saka sa Japanese. But it really depends on the set of questionnaires. But let's go back to number 10. Proper toilet seating position. What do you think, Paul? Is that the letter A? Yan, meron dyan sa... Meron dyan yung teacher with letter B. Parang siyang, na, parang siyang may hinahawakan na something. 
ito kasi yung letter A parang nasa, yung hands na is parang nasa lap. Naka-sit straight. Naka-burst out. Letter C, yun, parang naka-angle. Meron siyang angle per degree. Tapos, meron siyang stool na yun sa, kanya, sa kanyang paa. Or letter D, yun, parang slight na kayo ko and meron, meron siyang hinahawakan. So, what do you think po? Okay, so let's go back. The correct answer for that one is letter C. Yan po talaga, guys, yung tamang pag-assist or pag, um, yung position pala sa pag to toilet. Ayan. So let's have number 11. Urinary incontinence appears as we grow older. Which statement below best describes it? A. Is more common with man, men and women? Letter B. Bladder dysfunction where the bladder cannot store urine? Letter C. Can cause kidney diseases? Letter D. The kidney felt sudden pressure. What do you think, Paul? Giving you 10 seconds. Okay. For number 11, the correct answer will be letter B. Bladder dysfunction where the bladder cannot store urine. Yes. Most likely, yan yung talagang problem natin, guys, ng mga matatanda. Yung parang it's difficult for them to urinate, to, you know, parang umiihi ba. So, ayan. Merong nag malfunction na bladder nila. So, hindi na siya usually mag-work kasi nga matatanda na parang nag na yung energy. Yun. Talaga as ibang iba na talaga siya guys compared to at young age. So, let's proceed to number 12. May clear lang to guys but um, I'll be creating some more like this. So let's have number 12. Miss, Suz Miss Suzuki just finished her meal. Which position should you let Miss Suzuki rest? Again, Miss Suzuki just finished her meal. Which position should you let Miss Suzuki rest? So ano po sa tingin nyo? Yung nasa una, pangalawa, pangatlo, o pangapat. Itong panguna is para naka-elevate. Kunting elevation ng kanyang body. The second picture is parang plain lang siya, nakahiga, parang horizontal in place. Yung tatlo naman is para siyang naka-upo, nakayuko, or para siyang imbisaya, nakaubo. Ayan. The number four is parang naka-still, naka-horizontal, but yung left arm niya is parang naka-fold sa kanyang tummy. So what do you think po is the correct position talaga if if ever na tapos na po kayong nagpapakain ng matanda or like sa question na number 12, which position should you let Miss Suzuki rest? Well, the correct answer for that one is letter A or in the number one picture. So, ganyan yun lang po talaga siya, guys. Bawal siya talaga naka-totally uh, horizontal. Kasi nga, hindi pa totally na-digest or na-absorb yung mga nutrients ng pagkain sa kanyang katawan. So, para ano na rin, iwas na for vomiting. Tapos, iwas na rin sa parang mahihilo. Ganyan. Okay. So, let's have number 13. Which of the following assistance is best about grooming? So, ito guys, uh, itong grooming na to is I've heard from one of my friends na lumabas po sa kanyang exam. 
So, kaya itong question na to, please take note as well. So, we have the um, choices. Letter A, help her or him on apply heavy makeup. Letter B, brush her hair to remove dirt. Letter C, massage the in-between toes of a user with diabetes. Letter D, cut the nails in a curved manner. So, what do you think, Paul? Okay, for number 13, correct answer for that for grooming is letter B. Brush her hair to remove dirt. Hindi po tayo pwedeng mag-apply ng makeup, makeup, no? Kasi matatanda. Just in. If ever man, pwede. Pero yun lang siguro pag lumabas, mamasyal. Pero hindi naman siya use talaga for no word makeup. Meron siyang blush on or ano ba yan, lipstick. Basta ano lang siya. Uh, parang presentable lang po yung mukha. Pero pag letter C, hindi na kasi siya related sa grooming eh. Massage the in-between toes. Siguro ito yung if ano yung gagawin mo if ever na masakit or meron kang dapat gawin sa matanda, meron siyang ma-request. Yeah, but grooming is is not related po the letter A, C, and D. Okay, let's proceed to number 14. Unti lang because I promised to make it into 25 minutes but it's almost 21 minutes now. Well, so number 14, choose one that is not an appropriate to help the user sleep. Letter A, recommend that exercise properly in the daytime. Letter B, open the curtains in the morning and encourage them to take in the sun. Letter C, prepare clean, dry bedding. Letter D, recommend that you eat and go to bed immediately. So, ano po sa tingin nyo guys, related po, para po yung matatanda is, can be able or it would help him or her to sleep. So, in this case, mas mapadali or it's very um, effective yung tamang sagot dyan, which is number, sa so number 14 is letter D. So, recommend that you eat and go to bed immediately. So, most likely, di ba guys, pag nabusog tayo, most likely, we feel like sleepy. So, ayan. So, yan yung tamang sagot. Let's have the number 15. For number 15, let's see. For number 15, choose one that is not appropriate to help the user sleep. So letter A, recommend that exercise properly in the daytime. B, open the curtains in the morning and encourage them to take in the sun. I think na-double na to. Oh my God, na na siya. Anyways, I have another one. Let me check here. na na siya. Sorry guys. Ito na lang. Before I end this live. I would like to share you something. Uh, this one. Ito kasi. Yan. Pag may nakita po kayo sa set of questionnaires niyo, shortcut or human name like, like ADL, ICF, QOL. So ADL stand for activities of daily living. ICF, international classification of functioning. QOL is quality of life. By the way, guys, um, I'll have to add this one. ICF is a classification of human functioning and disability for the understanding of the overall condition of a person. Human functioning indicates the ability, function, and environment needed in daily living, such as body functions and structures, activities, and participation. And I have also here um, another three yes or no question. In case of dementia with Lewy bodies, rather than forgetting things, visions are seen first like visual hallucination and sometimes they talk to nothing. Also, symptoms such as Parkinson's disease may occur. So it's actually a yes. I'll make it fast na lang, guys. So symptoms of frontotemporal dementia include taking other people's things, 
getting angry immediately, acting violently, and changing personality rather than forgetting things. Again, you can see it on your PDF reviewer file. If you don't have it, please comment below or send me a message or send your email address on my Facebook page at irishclearlacuna-youtube. So it's easy. You will have to control F fine lang on your PDF file, frontotemporal dementia. And yes, that's it. You could see the descriptions. So it's actually a yes. And last but not the least, memory impairment is one of the peripheral symptoms of dementia. I think it's very clear. So it's a yes. So again, if you could wanted to get the exact meaning or definition, you can actually open your PDF file on your computer and you can have the control F and type memory impairment then automatically it will show up on your screen. Okay, so for other questions or inquiries and if you'd like to get this kind of reviewers, please don't hesitate to comment below section. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and of course, subscribe for additional updates soon. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. Goodbye.